Good kitten internet. Meow. Um, it's only been like what, twenty minutes since we stopped recording. If even that. So let's. We need to follow her for citizenship. Stupid Bethesda speed. You know, I think instead we should uh, visit our parents. Is I'm not trusting that these people alerted our parents to, hey, we're becoming a citizen. So do I just ditch right now? I don't know. Uh, follow, see if there's a conversation that you're supposed to witness. Or this is where the ceremony takes place. I would assume so. Wow. How did we end up so high up? It's top of the mess building. Like, this is orbit. No, it's not. But yeah, our parents aren't here. Nope. But nobody's here. Other than Andresia, because she's following me. Mm -hmm. I don't remember if this is it or wait here for. Well, I did a quick save, so. Yep. All right, Captain. Are you ready to be? It doesn't mean I can't be a citizen elsewhere, does it? It doesn't. We don't really care where else you might have been or might become a citizen. Once you earn your place in the United Colonies, it's yours. Why would I want to do this? Only citizens can own property in New Atlantis. You can also pay a discounted rate at any United Colonies merchant. And all citizens receive an ample credit disbursement upon joining. I'm going to go talk to my parents. Mm -hmm. But first, I'm going to figure out how the hell am I going to fast travel to... It's just down. <laughs> Everything is down from here. 300 meters straight down. All right. Um, Parents were technically mass district. No, they? residential. They actually are residential. Okay. I remember how to get there from the... Nat station. Nat station, but nope. residential's here. I need to figure out what angle to look down at in order <laughs> to fast travel. Ah. Uh. Well, there's the station, which means they're over here. Yeah. Like, there's the sign at the station. Yeah. It's in the same building as Don's Roost. Yeah, but I don't remember that building. Time to go to family. Although I'm expecting they won't have anything new to say. You've been given a precious opportunity. You sure about that? Seize it. And never look back. Do I have you? You do? Oh, your, your father has been as anxious as a kid on Christmas. Anyway, so you know about my car. Ah, uh, this one. Playing for years. I remember. I also remember worrying one day you'd lose too much. Usually, we're just playing with credit, Auntie. So it's just for fun, mostly. Well, I was in the game of my life. Me and another lady. We went all in and then some. After I called, she had four of a kind, queens. But I had an honest to God straight blush. Honey, you don't need to hear the play by play. <laughs> this is my moment. So finally, I won. I won big, the biggest part of my life. <laughs> it's wonderful. A little scary, but mostly wonderful. <laughs> I kept my poker face, even if I felt like letting my insides out. But the big kicker is, I won myself a ship. A real starship. It's real, sweetie. We, we went to the docks and looked at it and everything. Well, there's no way I'll ever fly it. So we had no idea what to do with the damn thing. And then it came to me. You. That's an amazing gift. Your expression makes it totally worth it. All the paperwork's already been taken care of. 
stupid, sell it. it. I, don't I don't care what you do with it. Just, just hope, hope it makes up for all the money you keep sending home. I barely sent money to you. <laughs> I've made, what, one payment? Mm-hmm. I mean, I can understand it's a pretty awesome place. What, what was that there before? No. No, it wasn't. I am pretty certain I would have remembered seeing that. Admittedly, it might have been night the last time, few times we were here. It is night. Yeah, you're right. Maybe we only I missed a minute. It's good to have you home. Okay, so we. There was something that I had promised to do earlier that I keep forgetting about. I'm not leaving a plant every time we yes. visit. I know I need to catch up on a couple of them, but that press and hold? Yep. Yes. Holy crap, I actually was successful at putting something where I wanted it. I mean, my lamp planter's still here. I figured it would be years until I saw you again. And here you are. So, we have a second ship now. We still haven't bought one. We still haven't stolen one. And we haven't become the Mantis. Mm -hmm. So, I think I'm going to go take a quick look at this ship. Mm -hmm. Sounds good. Yeah, it's night. How did I not see these before? Do I actually have a quest for this? Just look in your ships. That's right, good point. I only have one normally. Yep. Wonderwell. The class A. It has significantly better better everything. It is strictly better. It does not miss us. Yeah, that's true. But the cargo capacity is better, the hull is better. Jump speed uh, jump distance is way better. Shields are way better. Reactors better. The crew's the same. Oh well, here's one. Yeah, well. we're we're going to need to edit the weapons there because it's ballistic and EM. Yeah. Well, we can do that really fast. We just need to remember to do it for taking off. I'm going to do it now while I'm remembering. Okay. Hmm. I wonder if it's based on which level you are. I don't think so. We. We haven't gotten a message from our parents to visit. True. Which tends to happen during Constellation Plot. Mm-hmm. Annie's? Yeah, I know Ace took your spot, but it's not really your spot. You have to share. Mm -hmm. I'm keeping that spacesuit and selling this one. Because this can be more enchanted. Oh no, both can be enchanted, that's right. They weigh the same and one's clearly superior. Yeah, okay, I'll sell the other one, I guess. I only need one Nova Blast Disruptor. Mm hmm. I'm going to sell the drumbeat because of my lack of ammo. Yeah, you should keep either the drumbeat or the tombstone. You don't need both. I think I'll sell the drumbeat out of the two. Oh, right, I need to actually sell the contraband I picked up. Yeah, probably. Or I could, and actually, this character's too honest. We should drop the contraband off someplace. Like here. Uh, where someone can see you pick it up again? Where it's going to be there forever? It'll be there forever. Just spreading Varun writings in the UC. <laughs> Oh, 
There it is. Anyway. You should inspect your ship for heat leeches every couple landings. They'll cause plenty of havoc if left unchecked. Okay, no problem. If you have particle beam as the first weapon, then particle beam and EM could be sufficient. So I have ballistics, EM. Like you have nothing to deplete shields. Yeah. That is. And you already have a warning. Oh yeah, what is the warning? Oh. Ah. Oh. Yeah. Of course. Hmm. Nova Galactic cockpit. Not sure if mm. I've ever used one. So, what type of weapon would you recommend? Well, depends on who you have on, on your crew. Um, Barret is good with particle beams. Particle beams? <laughs> particle beams. So maybe we should pick up a particle bleam. And uh, uh, Vasco has a pip in EM weapons. Well, we have EM weapons on the ship. Yeah. So maybe I should finally go with an auto weapon. Yeah. I haven't tried one. Well, they do have the advantage that they can still fire at the enemy even if they're not mm -hmm. directly in your sights. Yeah. So, the first time I had a ship with turrets, I hated it. Okay. But now I have it and I'm starting to get used to it. And it's fine. And if you don't want it to fire, you can just power it down. Although, probably not the greatest of ideas given that it's my only non uh, shield depleting thing. I'm trying to go with, oh, so, this is only two power instead of three power. It is an auto, mm -hmm. but it's also only two power and is more, has higher damage to both hull and shield. Mm -hmm. So it also doesn't look that out of place. One error. It's because the weapon... Oh, right, I need to assign it. Because I have a quick power 27. I'm a little concerned about adding too much to it. Yeah. You can see if we can upgrade the reactor to better. Yeah. Reactors... No, shield generator reactor is... Grab drive. Where's the reactor on the ship? Maybe it's that one? No, that's the armory. Ooh, there's a... We should go inside before we make any changes to see... Okay. Mental Let's modification. Make it your home ship. Sorry. Oh yeah, that's right. Okay, no problem. Okay. Sorry, Frontier. We've got Wonderwell. Um... Okay, here's Wonderwell. Time to investigate. Always a satisfying moment to return to your ship. There's plants. And that's definitely a shower head. Yep. Small library inside of the bathroom that also has a shower head. Yeah. Sounds like a bad idea. Personally. More plants. Some tea. Oh, just containers. Trash. Yeah. Will be. Why'd you pick it up? Because when I modify the ship, everything's going to be moved anyway. No point, I guess. 
Oh, it's password 02. Mm -hmm. And is cereal a type of soup? Yes. Days in space. Lots. Hundred and fifty two days in space. Filled water. Liquid happiness. Ooh. Got a puddle sore too. Ooh. Some drawings. Neat. Hey Cora. Here's the armory. Mm-hmm. That's probably all empty. Uh looks like there's something on the wall rack there. Yep. Ammo. Money. Computer? I've never seen that in a ship before. So we basically have a cell. Huh. Interesting. Very dim in this ship. Yeah, we have our own cell, except that there's no mechanic in the game to... That I know of. I can't even close the door. It's just open forever. Yeah, that's real... Yeah. It's very secure. I mean, the ship you get when you become a fully-fledged Free Star Ranger has cells in it. Yeah. And EM weapons. So... There's a good chance this ship was used as some sort of law enforcement. It's not greatest view, but it's not awful, at least. Is there anything in the... Nope. Oh. It's a lot of food. That must have been from the other ship. Wait, this... Yeah, this is the hatch that I appeared in. Hmm. Okay. Well, we have a new ship. I'll worry about upgrading it later then, I guess. No. I'm doing it now. Anything I can help you with? Otherwise, I am going to never do it. You know, this would probably be a good time for Editor Me to throw in the thud footage. <laughs> Let's see if Editor Me remembers to do that. Achieving orbit now.
first off, we want to upgrade reactor. reactor. Nope. Oh, we're going to have to edit that. So our current reactor is 20. Do we even have anything we can buy? Don't worry about that hatching, just see what you can add. Reactors. Twenty as high as we can go. So we can't actually get a better reactor. Okay. Um one moment. Sorry, I had a friend asking me things, so wanted to make sure I responded and continued being a good friend. Okay, um, so yeah, we would need better something in order to be able to get a better reactor, whether that be Class B reactor or... Do we have our Class B license yet? No. No, we do not. So yeah, all I can do is throw a weapon on... Which, I mean, I probably should. Or replace the cannon with um, particle beams. Well, that would be upgrade ship. Should be better. Yeah, weapon probably fine. Sure. I could upgrade the engines. They are strictly better. Okay. I think maybe we should add a third weapon. Even if it's just... No, oh, yeah. Well, I'm going to add a third weapon. Okay. Then, chip builder, we are adding a third weapon on the top. So, now that we have particle beams, I would like to add something that doesn't require a whole bunch of Power still, mm -hmm. since we are limited on that. Honestly, the auto projector that I found before actually sounds like a reasonable idea. Yeah. Can I sign it? Yep. There we go. Except, all right. Now that we've done that, we can actually go become a citizen now. Mm -hmm. I don't see the mass district look. Oh, it's up, right. Early game. Hmm. Well, the government tent. Oh, I see. Maybe that was from when uh, it apparently had been shaken up a bit and the I unscrewed the cap and it popped like a champagne bottle. Complete with <laughs> the exact same sound effect and... It was a little embarrassing because that happened in public, but I'm just happy that <laughs> it landed on land and not in water. Yeah, because you were on a boat at the time. Well, waiting to board the boat, yeah. Near a boat, then. So, this bottle wasn't made for carbonation. Nope. They rarely are. Alright, Captain. Are you ready to be... I suppose you don't you literally don't give me a choice beyond just leaving. Yeah, we don't get more plot if we don't do it. Good. 
This isn't the only item we need to discuss, so I'll give you the short Oh, I have the short version. Please raise your hand. Captain, through your actions today and in days past, you have earned your place among the United Colonies. Through service, bravery, strength, and oh, I should have brought Sam here. Mutual good. Will you carry and cultivate these values for as long as you remain a citizen? I mean, Tara is probably the one who would be liking it the most. Yeah. Then, Captain, I'm pleased to welcome you into the United Colonies as a full citizen. I'm a citizen! Your official if only citizenship was that easy to get in reality. Also let the Ophelian Realty Office out in the plaza know you're approved to purchase property. Now, the other item we needed to discuss. There's a member of the UC who's asked to speak to you, but this person is in a sensitive position. Normally, we wouldn't even consider something like this. But we think this person has information that could prove useful in dealing with the Terramorphs. And they say they'll only share it with you. They ask for you by name. So I need your agreement that everything you're about to see is kept in the strictest confidence. Well, this is creepy. You can tell no one. Mm -hmm. Can you agree to these terms? How far ahead are you on the UC quest line? Um, I have spoken to that person and I have done the quest they asked me to do. Okay. So... One quest slash one arc of the quest. I'm sorry. I can't share. Well, I guess I'll take it to my grave. Let's hope it never comes to that. Head to the elevator. We're going to subsection 7. I'll make sure you're clear for access by the time you get there. Even more money. And I leveled up. The devils, you know. Why do I get the feeling I know who this is? Mm -hmm. Any guesses? That would require me to remember people's names. I'm really bad at that. But I'm going to go with somebody who should be dead. <laughs> mm -hmm. As a bunch of cops just <laughs> fall for no reason. And it happened to line up with a quest marker at the time. Perfect. Oh, that's a fake computer. Well, this place looks like the interior of a dungeon. No. Ooh, I need A level clearance. Oh. They should have had a bench or something. Yeah. There. <laughs> I was not expecting the game to actually recognize things like that. Mm hmm. Neat. Good job, Bethesda. I don't say that very often. For good reason. <laughs> I do wish our parents could have been at the ceremony. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but they gave me a ship. All right, Admiral, let's go. President Abeo was kind enough to give me a few files to peruse. Quite the series of accomplishments you've managed. But now you face a foe unlike any other. An invisible enemy lurking in the shadows. You're going to need all the help you can get, which is why I hoped we could speak. Of course he looks familiar. We've seen clones. Uh, there's a reason for that. Introductions first, though. I'm Francois Fanon. Mm -hmm. But most know me as Invictus. I was an admiral during the colony war. One of its great villains, if you believe the slates. I was to be executed for my crimes. But the previous regime of course. Too valuable to simply discard. So they put me here. A sacrifice on the altar of peace. Even my death served the colonies. You, um... Opened fire on civilian ships. Yep. You're an asshole. Oh, 
Okay, I know what he did. No shit. <laughs> Duh. <laughs> are you kidding me? <laughs> we are not that naive. No. I want to help you and my progeny, Hadrian, prevent more attacks. Though I am curious, has she shared with you the nature of our little? Yes, family? she did. Adrian. I never did succeed in driving that out of her. Our relationship has always been a challenging one. The Major was born to become a great leader, carry on the legacy I established, and was given all the finest training to support it. And she excelled. But the universe cut all that short. Now, though, it's placed even more crucial work in front of the two of you. And I think I have a part to play in helping you accomplish what you've set out to do. You wonder, though, who else has access to him? Mm-hmm. Like, could the terror morph on uh, Tau Ceti have been just to set this entire thing in motion See, that, for him to break out? That seems more likely to me. Is that this is part of a plot to cause somebody to go into the archives mm -hmm. and that was the actual objective not maybe not even unleashing terramorphs directly like this but maybe to try to finish the research into controlling them perhaps was that all oh shut up tell me more about this cloning that's a dumb idea ancient history now you have much more pressing matters at hand with which i can help hmm. not every day i get the chance to work with a man living in a fish tank keep talking after some long years earning the trust of this current regime the uc has been permitting me to work alongside one of their recovery teams helping them gather intelligence on locate and organize scenarios to lure in some of the criminals that evaded justice after the colony war. With quite a few successes, I might add. But in the process, I managed to find something else. The names and locations of Hadrian and Percival's old research team. Valuable manpower for the effort you're about to embark on. I'll tell you where they are. But in exchange, I need something dealt with. So you track down war criminals, people like you. How does that work? <laughs> well, who better to find them? But many of them I knew personally. And I've always had a mind for details. Where someone was born, next of kin. <laughs> You'd be shocked how often an otherwise brilliant criminal flees to the planet just next to the one where they were born. Or where a family member resides. I simply use my own personal knowledge and the information our group collects for me to track them down and set things right. I'm sure I like the sound of this. One task. That's all I require. There is a former colleague of mine, a man by the name of Dr. Reginald Orlaes. Like myself and Hadrian, he was involved in some of the United Colonies Problematic lines of research. Mech weapons were his specialty. If it dealt death, he could make it deal more. When the colony war ended, he fled, refusing to face tribunal, and has continued to peddle his skills to the highest bidder to this day. But I finally found him. I want you to track him down and deal with him, however you're able. I'm not expecting. 
expecting you'll come quietly. Bring me evidence that the job's done, and I'll tell you what I know. Hmm. Not hand this over to one of the members of your recovery team. Captain, your files indicate a track record of unlikely successes. It is my genuine hope that, perhaps down the line, you might become a part of our team. Yeah, we'll hope not. How do I know you're not asking me to kill an innocent man? Speak to Deputy McIntyre. I'm sure she'd be happy to hear that someone might be tying up this loose end at long last. Though I would ask you, do not make the mistake of confusing me for a simple cutthroat. Yeah. What if I arrest him and turn him over to the FC? You can certainly try, but the man's been out there 20 years. He's likely gone feral by now. Easier for all. Not killing anyone, but if he is as bad as you claim, I'll consider it. If that's what you require to sleep at night, so be it. According to my information, he's been hiding around the world of Etheria. There is a star station in the vicinity. The den. The head of the local vanguard, one Captain Marquez. She should be able to help you find our man. I want the uh bring him in alive route and there is an interesting item that seems unique that you get if you go that track that was creepy as hell mm -hmm. hello i will watch your back About to ask why activities updated, then I remembered. Oh, right, they actually give you a quest for having NPCs. Uh, we're going up to go talk to get more information, of course, because. Yeah. Yep. You're, uh, you're hiding a war criminal in yeah. your basement. Did your uh, meeting go well? I hope it's clear now. There's an executed war criminal in your basement. Did you just say? No, I didn't. Yes, I'm not sure if we should say that with Andresia around. Captain, please keep your voice down. The situation with the prisoner is a complex one. But it's a situation we've been managing as discreetly and humanely as we can for some time now. And the most critical part of that management is making sure no one else learns of it. Can't keep me from telling Adrian. Short of jailing you? No. You're right. But in this moment, I presume you didn't call your time as simply to discuss. I'm reloading. Mm-hmm. Because that's not what my character would say. Yeah, I didn't say that either, but I really wanted to. <laughs> Captain, did... I think I went with the middle option. Exactly. Just, Just another prisoner. Place. Nothing you'd ever even think of bringing up in conversation. <laughs> that's a threat. With anyone. You ever. think? I'm going to reload again, so. No. They really <laughs> bring up what you've learned outside this building when I don't want that, and you certainly don't want that. Now. Ah. I don't like this at all. The Free Star Collective quest line was much nicer. Just saying. And even then. Deputy, I was not prepared for that. It surprised me too when I learned it. That the uh, prisoner has proven useful over the years. And kept far from any major decision making. But I do think it's worth re-emphasizing. No one else. Why hasn't Hadrian been told about this? 
The Major doesn't have clearance for this sort of information. I do for some reason. She doesn't need a distraction from her current very important work. Which is why I need you to keep this to yourself. This is the kind of secret that I resent having to keep. Mm -hmm. Good. Because bringing this up to the outside world would create the unfair appearance, Captain, that you're unhinged. And that's not a good look for any of us. I have hinges. Now, was there something in particular you needed to discuss about? <laughs> I'm gonna be a hitman! Dr. Reginald Orlais? He's finally found him. Of course, killing Orlais is completely out of the question. But bringing him to justice... We've been on the land for years. That'd be a huge win for the UC. Well, what's being offered in return? Wait, are you actually considering this? Someone on behalf of the prisoner? Absolutely not. But taking the chance to bring a known criminal to justice? Well, the old man's been right, right more, more than a few than times, times in the past. past. So, so it's what's being put on the table here? here? Location of Hadrian's old research team members. He found the members of the research team. We'd already initiated a search for them, but it'd save a lot of time and manpower if he just gave us that information. Captain, if that's the deal, you have my endorsement. Just so long as you make every effort to bring the man in alive. Now, is there anything else you wanted to discuss regarding your meeting? What's the chances I'm being lured into a trap? Trusting the man downstairs would be a mistake, but I don't think you need to be too concerned. This is far from the first name he's handed over, and all previous missions went off largely without a hitch. So I'd like certainly warrant caution. I think you can proceed. Uh, she didn't tell me anything about the den. The den? Well, it's a star station. Orbiting Wolf. The second star station, actually, to bear that title. This one was blown to smithereens by House Maroon during the Serpent's Crusade. The place was always acted as a remote strategic hub, primarily for repairing and refueling UC military vessels. But because of its distance from the rest of the UC, things there have always been a little more lax. Trolls included. I think the worst places in the galaxy for a criminal to hide out. Nothing else to talk about. Nothing else for today, Captain. And remind you of the importance of discretion. Where's the major? Down Mars, presumably? Probably, yeah. Yes. Don't like it. Well, you did just get a ship with the M weapons, so you yep. are equipped to do this. I can actually take out a ship now, although I don't have the skill to target. A particular area, unfortunately. Right, but if you just damage it, power down your turret, and then fire only EM weapon, you're bound to disable it. That, that's what I did. I don't have the targeting perk yet. Mm. Switching NPCs. Yeah. Uh, which skill did Andreja have that was useful for ship? Still getting used to this. Isn't it not quite feel like home, but hopefully someday. Just look at your crew roster. Particle beam. And energy weapon. No, it's energy weapon system. That's right, because, because particle beam's the handheld. handheld. Yeah. Which yeah, there's the Big Bang, the Varun Inflictor, Varun Star Shard. Wasn't there one or two more particle beam weapons? Anyway. So who should I have on my ship? Definitely Barrett. Right, I don't have capacity on my ship. It's Barrett instead of Sam. Hmm. What? So, Vasco counts towards the limit? No. 
Or yes, but Asco didn't count toward the limit. Hold on. It's a glitch. Huh. Oh, right, because Sam's actually on the Wonderwell right now. So I can't assign him from here. Good job, game. Or try unassigning Vasco yet again and then. No, it's literally. No assignments available, rather than it being maxed. Hmm. It is a very confusing system. Yeah, it is. Because it seems so inconsistent sometimes. It's been quieter around here ever since Vladimir went to live on the eye full time. I'm more than ready. Let's go, Miss Morgan. Shall be here. here if you need me. It's actually comforting to know that, Ambrosia. Thank you. I think Sarah might have more no, interesting things to say. Mm -hmm. Also, Sam is now here, which means that I can assign him. This game. See? Sam's now in the lodge, and... And assign Vasco, assign Sam, assign Vasco. Oh. I am so confused. Your ship. Hmm. Let's try something. Zero out of two. Sign Barrett. Sign Sam. Can't assign Vasco. Unassign Sam. Sign Sarah. Sign Vasco. What if Vasco's not the glitched one, but it's Sarah? I don't understand the system. How about I assign Barrett, Sarah, and Sam? Yeah, sure. That because works. that's what I just did. Vasco isn't the glitched one. It's Sarah. At least on this save. The ship has a crew capacity of two. Yes. And I have two of two, according to the game. And Vasco doesn't count because it doesn't hang up a career station. But... <laughs> I've got nothing. I I'm just going off of observational mm -hmm. data. Uh, Brainic is nowhere near being able to take ship command. No. Oh well, here's Wonderwell. I will keep making that joke. I have something for you. <laughs> Everyone's just showering you with gifts. Not exit ship, I meant get up. And... You, have a moment. you can get it here. Here, I have something for you. Which me? You shouldn't have. <laughs> oh, you're incorrigible. I picked it up on one of our latest planetary expeditions. I'm more than just an... Oh, appreciate the effort. I'm just pleased I get to utilize some of my old field collecting skills. Check back with me from time and to time. And I get a leaf. Toxic leaf at that. Yep, toxic leaf. At least she didn't be a lubricant. That How happened. But a fella could do a lot worse than Constellation. Sure. I've got a minute. 
What random food item are you gonna give me? Yep. Take this. Enjoy. Damn, Spaghetti buddy. carbonara. Uh, car okay, I've definitely seen that badass. conversation. You wanted me to tell you it's a tap. I hope you're having a good day. Hey, look, it's closed again. Hmm. Mineral that displays some lifelike quality. It's been in a box for years. Not a big deal. Oh, that's actually a different she knows she has to ask. <laughs> She's a smart kid. Uh, You're really uh... smart. <laughs> You're <in> trust. <laughs> trust me, it's all I ever think about. Sarah moonwalking through to sit down through a locked door. Let's just take off of this serpent for steak and planet. Why is the music changed? All right. Oh, now we have a green pip and engines, which means I think that's what's making uh, making the ship. Of making you game power down my systems a little bit every now and yep. then. Just so annoying. <laughs> just go where you're supposed to. I know, I'm just. I was trying out the ship. Oh, okay. <clears throat> Makes sense. The first time I'm in this ship. Uh, you do have the boot on you, don't you? Yes. So maybe you should go to a system where you're somewhat likely to be attacked? Well, I mean, wouldn't the wolf system count for that? I'm not sure. Like, you're not going to be attacked right outside of the station. I suppose. But there's a shipping crate here. Ooh, we've never even been to the den. No, we haven't. I've been there with my other character. Of course. I don't remember why. Oh, hey, look. Space loop. So, what's our um, piloting skill like? Need to destroy six more ships. Hmm. And also level up. You can be pretty confident about your abilities as a pilot. Well, yeah. Why wouldn't I be? Oh, right. You haven't seen me fly. If you had, you'd know how good I am. Damn hotshot pilots. And those that are truly skilled rarely need to advertise it. I? I'm not advertising anything. I'm a pilot. For the Vanguard. Are you even paying attention? I'd offer to let you fly along on my next mission, but, uh... Oh, damn it, here, I forgot. L listen, I'm the thing. I've got an application for a promotion of Vanguard, but I haven't heard anything back. It's been a while. Their reply must have gotten lost along the way. It happens. We're really far from New Atlantis. Anyway, would you mind going there and following up on that? 
Can't you be the one following it? Yeah, I mean, probably, but you know how it goes. I leave here and then something terrible happens and I have all this guilt because I wasn't here to save everyone. Ah. Uh... Just like that? I'm not going to forget what you're doing to me. This is just a story. Okay, you're going to want to talk to Commander Tuwala. I'm sure he's aware of Just bring back whatever message for me. Okay, then. Bye. Do I just never talk to him? Or... Looking to lodge a complaint? Then you want UC security, not the Vanguard. Or maybe, um... I haven't talked to him since before joining in the Vanguard. I think I got that quest with my other character. Okay. Can't remember for sure, though. Oh, apologies, Captain. Did Didn't recognize, recognize you without the uniform. Hmm. I wonder if I would have so, equipped so, the uniform without what can I do for you? A area. Not, not an area, area that gets a lot, a lot of visitors. visitors. You mind me asking what you're, you're looking for? for? Really? Living, Living around, around Eperia. Eperia. Are, Are you talking, talking about, about the warlock? warlock? What? There's, There's been, been rumor of a ship out there, out there for years now. There's a lot of haunted hills, a lot of docks. More than, More than a few amateur investigators, investigators have tried to find it. it. And, at and at least two, two never came back. Oh, two of them have it. Fears the debris fields are plenty dangerous, dangerous if you're not used to flying in them. But if you're suggesting it might not have been the fields that caught them, well, I can give you the coordinates of the warlock's last sighting. Can you tell me anything else about the warlock? I honestly thought, thought it was just a story Lord Hollers told, told to amuse each other. But if the pilot of the warlock really has been dusting our people, well, hopefully you're about to make our skies a whole lot safer. So what's the interest about Ethereum's world? Well, the original Death Star Station was destroyed decades ago during the Serpent's Crusade by a marauding house crew in Zealous. A big part of the remains from those battles ended up gathering around Ethereum. Forming a nasty debris field. Every now and, now and then, then, some headstrong scrapper comes limping back because they hit an 80 year old mine. Or sometimes they don't come back at all. No. So, maybe it's not just the field that's been picking. Anything else about the den? Things you should know? But the den's, den's not, not really that, that kind of place. place. This is a quiet assignment. Keep an eye out for pirates, make sure smuggling is kept to a minimum. Occasional rescue job out in the debris fields. Otherwise, it's mostly long haulers and staying ready for the day the collective wants another round. Or House Baroon comes back in force. I knew he was jumping up because he's been at each of our sides for a while now. But he still manages to startle me. I'll take those coordinates. Sure thing. Here, this should get you pointed in the right direction. Good hunting. And stay safe. He's trying to tell me that it's time to feed him. Mm -hmm. But maybe I can shoot the warlock down first? Mm -hmm. Since it's just ship combat, that should be doable, right? Yeah. If you can handle that with cat. Time to find out. But this ship is starting to feel like home. I have saved. It depends on if there's more than just the warlock there. I'm usually fairly good at fighting if it's only one. Right. Don't need grab drive. But I've also never used DM weapons, so time to find out. Yeah, weapon is going to blow up a nope. asteroid. Apparently not. 
Pines? I believe they are. Yep. Remember to pour it on the turret. Shields are now down. I'm gonna knock him out, aren't I? Did you not fire the... Uh, EM weapon? Must not have. Let's try that again. I did fire the EM weapon. Maybe the turret was still firing? I don't think so. Even if it was powered down all the way? Just getting me closer. I think your boost will be charged back up enough. And yes, I know the timer's about to go off. Yeah. My brain was telling me it was an hour. <laughs> I'll just start a stopwatch too. See how much over we go. Use the particle beam until it's at least top. Oh, just, just, just. Um, I didn't realize he was facing me. Um, there are particle beam turrets in this field. Oh, that would have been nice to know. I just didn't notice them when I played, other than after I disabled the ship and docked at it, I saw the turrets. Hey, let's try this a third time. But my ship has way more shields than yes, your Yes, this ship. is also... The Warlock is double my level. I might be doing this a little too early. Maybe. Shields are depleting fast. Yep. Damn it, did not want to be in front of him. Do not like using EM weaponry. The docking 
time that it takes yeah. for you to do it was enough to kill me. This is dumb. I'm thinking maybe we'll do this after yeah. we've gotten a slightly... Oh no, I was going to say, I think what I'm going to do is, is take... kill the turrets. Yeah, take out the turrets first. Because I know I've seen the turrets on mm -hmm. a thing. So I'm going to get closer. And if it doesn't work this time, I'll save and start it next time type of thing. Just not very good shields. Nope. Target it. For level one. Mm -hmm. Probably. Yeah, I've noticed. They're all very far away. I can actually blow those things up. It just takes more effort. All right. Ooh, it counts as destroying a ship. Nice. Well, that makes things better. Oh. Not good. Lost the grab drive. I'm thinking the fact that you only had two ship parts is going to be a problem. I'm aware. What is even hitting me? It probably has turrets on that ship. Or you hitting mines? I must be hitting mines or something. This is ridiculous. I'm back, but I'm going to be dead if I take a hit. up about the grab drive people there all right let's try to quickly finish this off It doesn't sound so great. Guineas. What well, isn't this here? So it's some. Inaccessible. Welp. Yeah. I went to all of the trouble of having a ship that can disable a ship. Having a Nova Blast Disruptor so I could take him alive. Mm -hmm. And the fuck goes and commits suicide. Yep. But his lab coat. Look at his lab coat. Oh 
Okay. Interesting. It's a very interesting lab coat. Mm -hmm. I believe it is unique, but... Personal logs. Delivery is complete. Item is exactly as asked. Never imagined this was possible. You do amazing work. The things you've done won't get a trial. Lock you in a cage the rest of your life. No way for a man to live when they come for you. Kill them or show them you won't be caged. So who was talking to him? Fair enough. <laughs> Zone is currently playing with a... Oh, I can actually take the ship? Oh. You are not authorized to pilot this ship. Fine, but I'm taking everything else on the ship. Of course. And presumably blowing it up for progress towards your piloting license. And what's down here? The docking bay, I guess. Expert lock on a helmet. Guineas. Sound back off. Nope, this character does not take or does not keep contraband. Even though you can easily sell it at the dam. Yes. Zone, back off! Chameleon calibrated UC security skip pack. Master lock locker. And a master safe. I will leave this for next time because we're way over time. Mm -hmm. So, hope you've enjoyed this internet and I'll talk to you next time. Bye.